the petting farm. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule of the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, Daddy Pig! This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello! Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands! That's right! <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly. <laughs> I love bubbles. And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. <laughs> here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please! OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> Here, Chicky Chick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens. Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me, me. <laughs> So little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs. Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. <gasps> Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to wash our hands. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But... Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever, and then you could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes. My little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands! Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. We held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. <laughs> Buttercups, daisies and dandelions. Peppa and her family are visiting Cousin Chloe's house for the day. Hello! Hello! Hello, Chloe! <laughs> As it's such a sunny day, we thought we'd have a picnic in the garden. Oh, that would be lovely. Come on, Peppa and George. <laughs> Race you! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good spot for a picnic. Mmm, yes! <laughs> Ooh, look at 
all the flowers in the grass? Yes, let's pick them. <coughs> I will pick the buttercups. I will pick the daisies. <coughs> no, George, you need to find your own flower to pick. <coughs> Ooh. George has found some very pretty flowers. George, don't pick the flowers in the flower bed. Only pick the flowers in the grass. <coughs> Chloe is collecting buttercups. Peppa is collecting daisies. George is collecting grass. <laughs> Don't pick grass, George. Pick dandelions, like this one. <laughs> Peppa, George, would you like to see a trick with buttercups? Yes, please. <laughs> George, do you like butter? George does not know if he likes butter. Let me see. <coughs> yes, George, you do like butter. <laughs> How can you tell? If I hold a buttercup under George's chin and it shines yellow, that means he likes butter. <gasps> do it to me! Do it to me! Pepper, do you like butter? You do! <laughs> it's true! I do like butter! <laughs> I've got a trick I can do with daisies. Oh, what's that? If I put a daisy under your chin and it shines yellow, then, um, then that means you like cheese. Really? Yes. George, do you like cheese? <laughs> cheese. Yes, George does like cheese. Oh, there's no yellow. Are you sure you like cheese, George? <laughs> I think they are the wrong type of daisies. Oh. Don't worry, there is something we can do with daisies. We can make a daisy chain. What's a daisy chain? I'll show you. First you take a daisy and make a little hole in the stem. Take another daisy and thread it through that hole. Then make a hole in that daisy stem and thread another daisy through that hole. Look, a daisy chain. Wow. wow. Let me try. Make a hole in the stem, thread a daisy through. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we can join them together to make one big daisy chain necklace. There! Now you are the Daisy Queen, Peppa. Yes, I am the Daisy Queen. <coughs> look at me, look at me! <laughs> no, George, I am the Daisy Queen. You need to be something else. Oh. George, you can be a lion. <coughs> and these dandelions can be your mane. <laughs> George is a dandelion. No! George <laughs> likes being a lion. <laughs> Children, come and get your food. <laughs> Look, everyone. I am the Daisy Queen, and this is George the Lion. Ooh. Ooh. And I know a trick to see if you like butter, Daddy. Really? Yes, you do like butter. Oh, <laughs> I do. That's very clever, Pepper. Can I try? Mmm, yes. Daddy also likes eggs and tomato, cheese and cake. Wow! How do you know all that, Mummy? Because he's got bits of egg, tomato, cheese and cake all down his front. Ho, ho! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves picnics. Everybody loves picnics. Looking for things. Pepper and her family are in the kitchen. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Is the apple pie ready yet, Mummy? No, Peppa. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. Why don't you all wait somewhere else? Oh, oh okay. okay. What do we do now? Well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We'll find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. 
<laughs> George has found Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> he can't write with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with a train. Oh. Look, a crayon. <laughs> Daddy can write with this. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Daddy, we found something to write with. Oh, a crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Can we look for something else? OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. A square? Yes. There must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? George has found a clock. Hmm. That's a circle. Oh. We need to find a square. That picture is a square. <laughs> Very good. You found a square. Hooray! What should we look for now? Now, you must find something that makes a squeaky noise. Something that makes a squeaky noise. Try looking in the bathroom. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Look for something that makes a squeaky noise, George. George has found a towel. Towels don't squeak. <laughs> Towels are very quiet. Oh. Squeaky, the rubber duck. <laughs> that makes a squeaky noise. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we found. Oh, oh, excellent. Now see if you can find something the colour of blue. Something blue? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have found a ball. That's not blue. That's red. Oh. Pepper and George look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Aw, there's nothing blue here. Pepper and George look in the office. Everything is not blue. Did you find anything? There is nothing in the whole house that is blue. Hmm, have you looked in the mirror? Daddy, the mirror is not blue. <gasps> blue! What is it, George? Blue! <laughs> George is blue! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa! George! Mummy, Mummy! We've been looking for things. Oh, I've got something you can look for. What is it, Mummy? It's round. A ball! Round and flat on top. A bit like a hat. A hat! And it tastes yummy. The apple pie! Yes, the apple pie is ready. Hooray! Yay! I love looking for things. And I love finding things, especially when it's apple, apple pie! pie. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Look, George, a lovely muddy puddle to jump in. <laughs> Peppa, George, come on, we're going out. Oh, but we wanted to jump in muddy puddles. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find lots of puddles today. We're going for a lovely walk in the woods. <laughs> oh, are there puddles in the woods? Yes, I should think so. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy, Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go! <laughs> I love muddy puddles, splishy, splashy puddles. I love muddy puddles. La da dee da do. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the woods. Ah, I adore woodland walks. The birds singing, the dappled sunlight, the. Where are the puddles? There's one. Hooray! <coughs> Muddy puddles! Oh, this puddle is not very muddy. That's because it's got leaves and twigs in it. Not all puddles are muddy, Pepper. Hmm, 
This puddle is twiggy. And it's crackly. So what would you call it? A twiggy crackly puddle. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I would have to agree. Woodland puddles are twiggy and crackly. Can we find a puddle that's a bit more sploshy? OK, but we'll need to go somewhere else. Why don't we go to the beach? Yes, the beach. <laughs> Looking for muddy puddles. Splishy, sploshy puddles. Looking for muddy puddles. A la da -de -da -do. <laughs> This is the beach. <laughs> Look, puddles. <laughs> oh. This puddle isn't muddy. That's because it's made of sand and water. So what shall we call it? It's not twiggy crackly. It is a scrunchy, crunchy puddle. <laughs> it certainly is. Beach puddles are scrunchy, crunchy. <laughs> Can we find more sorts of puddles? Let's try the playground. Yes. The playground! <laughs> Looking for muddy puddles A la da -de -da -do. <laughs> <laughs> This is the playground Puddles! <laughs> what kind of puddle is this, Pepper? It sounds splatty So I will call it a splatty puddle <laughs> Excellent description, Pepper. Playground puddles are splatty. <laughs> Time to go home. What a fantastic day out that was. Yes, we've learned about all kinds of puddles. First, the twiggy crackly puddle. In the woods with the leaves and twigs. Then the scrunchy crunchy puddle. At the beach with the sand and water. And the splatty puddle in the playground. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad we didn't find any muddy puddles. <laughs> I know where to find the best muddy puddles. Pepper and George have arrived back home. <laughs> muddy puddles! <laughs> so, Pepper, what do you call this puddle? It is splishy. And splashy sploshy. A splish splash splosh muddy puddle. No, Daddy. <laughs> it is the bestest puddle in the world. So I will call it a pepper puddle. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in pepper puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in pepper puddles. <laughs> Spotting. It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. Granny and Grandpa <laughs> Pig have come to visit. Hello, everyone. I like your funny hat, Grandpa. Thank you, Peppa. Today I'm doing a bit of bird spotting. What's bird spotting? It's Grandpa's latest little hobby. I suppose it keeps him happy. Uh, yes. I look for birds, and when I spot them, I tick them off in my book. Look, this is a robin redbreast. I spotted one in my garden. Ooh. Of course, what I'd love to spot is a very rare bird, like a cuckoo. Never mind, Grandpa. I'm sure you will one day. Yes. In fact, I was um, actually hoping to do a bit of bird spotting before lunch, if that's OK. No problem. Lunch won't be ready for ages. Grandpa? Can George and me go bird spotting too? Of course you can, Peppa. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll call you when lunch is ready. The best place to spot birds is where there are trees. Birds like trees. Um, but there aren't any birdies here, Grandpa. Ah, but I know a clever trick. We pretend to be a bird. Then hopefully a bird will hear our call and fly here. Look, Grandpa, a birdie. Ah, yes, that is a sparrow. A good start. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, Grandpa Pig. I see you're doing some bird spotting. Yes. Us too. 
We've just spotted one of our rarest birds in the world. A ribbon-tailed bird of paradise. Amazing to find one this far north. Well done. I spotted a sparrow. Oh, yes. A common sparrow. Well done, you. See you later. Bye. Now, um, let's do some more bird calls. I can do a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> it worked! Uh, I wonder if there's a duck in my book. Mrs. Duck must be in your book. She is very special. Of course she is. Ah, here we go. A duck. And George can do a pigeon. Do your pigeon, George. <laughs> Look, Grandpa! Pigeons! Uh, they seem to have left pigeons out of my book. How are you doing, Grandpa Pig? Spotted any rare birds? Um, we saw a duck and some pigeons. Uh, and I have high hopes of spotting a cuckoo. Pepper, George, Grandpa, lunch is ready. Oh, goody! Bye. A cuckoo, you say? How were you planning on spotting a cuckoo? Oh, you know, uh, I was just going to call cuckoo. <laughs> My goodness, it worked. Well done, old chap. Cuckoo. <laughs> it's inside the house. Oh, that is not a real cuckoo. That is Peppa's toy cuckoo clock. <laughs> Sorry to barge in like this, but Grandpa Pig has heard a cuckoo. You're in here somewhere. But Grandpa... Quiet, everyone. We don't want to scare the cuckoo away. <coughs> ah! Oh, it's a cuckoo clock. That means I can't tick it off in my book. But Grandpa, my cuckoo clock is very special. It certainly is. I think you should take it off. I would if it was me. Uh, what does everyone else think? Strictly speaking, it's... OK, if everyone thinks it's fair... Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves bird spotting. Everybody loves bird spotting. <laughs> Strawberries! Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. Yes, please. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? <laughs> You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. Why is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah! Uh. You cheeky bird! So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. I know a place that has lots of strawberries. <laughs> It's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow. So many strawberries. Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello. Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy, red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. 
But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Pig! I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Peppa. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Peppa. <coughs> Yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, in our tummies. Maybe it's time to go home. Here is Danny Dog with his mummy and daddy. They have just arrived at the strawberry farm. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. Look at all these strawberries. Oh, don't say that word. What? Strawberries? Oh. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. I see you've picked a lot of strawberries. Oh. Where's the way out? The way out is just through the gift shop. What do you sell in your shop, Miss Rabbit? Strawberry cake, strawberry cookies, strawberry cheese, strawberry juice, strawberry sweets, strawberry... Anything without strawberries? Uh, no. I think we've had our fill of strawberries, thank you. Funny, no one ever buys anything from this shop. Miss Rabbit, look at how many strawberries we picked. <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we can make strawberry jam! Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. Breakfast club! Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to playgroup early today? Is it because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to playgroup early because today is breakfast club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at breakfast club? Eat our breakfast! Correct. I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Ooh! Cut it! 
Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm me. Me. I'm I'm me. Me. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh! It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Everyone has caught their toast. Again, again, again! No, children, eat the toast you have first. <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam, toast, toast, toast. Breakfast is over and everyone is ready to start the day. Pizza, pizza! <laughs> it is almost lunchtime at Peppa's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza! Good idea. Let's make pizza. Ho, ho! I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour, tomatoes, cheese, and for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn, mushrooms, olives, pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands, hands wash them nice and, nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Let's wipe the table clean. And put our aprons on. <laughs> right, let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza! Peppa, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> and George is big and strong too. <laughs> okay, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three, four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. Hoopla! <gasps> <laughs> Daddy has a pizza on his head. Ho, oh, oh, ho, this one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. <laughs> Good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes 
for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up and George and I can do some playing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pepper and George like playing. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Peppa! George! Lunch is ready! Yay! <laughs> Mummy, your pizza looks like you! Oh, thank you very much! And your pizza looks like you, Daddy! It looks nothing like me! <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Peppa! Does it? Oh, goody! And George's looks like George! <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world ever! <laughs> Peppa loves pizza! Everybody loves pizza! Butterflies! Today, Dr Hamster is at Peppa and George's playgroup. Hello, everybody! Hello, Dr Hamster! Dr Hamster has brought an exciting creature to show us all. Can you guess what animal it is? Is it a whale? No, it's smaller than a whale. Is it an ant? No, it's bigger than an ant. Is it a big ant? It's a caterpillar. Wow! Lots of caterpillars. Yes. There's a stripy one. The stripes help it to hide in the grass. There's a furry one. <laughs> Can we stroke it? Uh, no, Molly. It might give you an itchy rash. The spotty one is eating a leaf. Yes, caterpillars like eating leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's colour in our very own paper caterpillars. Hooray! <laughs> I'm doing a spotty one. <laughs> I'm doing an orange one. I think black and white stripes look nice. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Now, who can tell me what this is here? It's a leaf. It might look like a leaf, but it's not. It is a chrysalis, which is a shell for a caterpillar to hide in while it sleeps. Ooh! Is it like a cosy bed? Sort of. But when you go to sleep and wake up in your cosy bed, you're still Peppa Pig. Yes! But when the caterpillar wakes up in its chrysalis, it has turned into something completely different. Can you guess what it turns into? A whale! A pirate! Has it turned into a super caterpillar? No, none of those. Look, it's moving! The chrysalis is hatching. Ooh, what is it? Dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's, it's a, a butterfly. butterfly. The caterpillar has turned into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Who wants to decorate one of these paper butterfly wings? Me, 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 me. All the children are making beautiful <laughs> butterfly wings. <laughs> oh, lovely. Can we do a butterfly dance? Yes, but we don't start as butterflies, do we, children? No. no. What was the butterfly before it was a butterfly? A, a caterpillar. caterpillar! That's right. First, you should do the caterpillar dance. Yay! <laughs> You're all caterpillars wiggling around on the ground. <laughs> I'm the wiggliest caterpillar. <laughs> Me too. I'm a super caterpillar. <laughs> and now it's time to go to sleep. Be very still, children. Imagine that you're nice and safe inside a cosy chrysalis. And you are changing into something different. Madame Gazelle and Dr Hamster are secretly putting the wings on the children. Now it's time to wake up and open your eyes. 
Pedro Pony is fast asleep. Vicky, Vicky, Pedro. <gasps> what is it, Mummy? Am I late for school? No, you are at school. Oh, I'm a butterfly. Nay. No. Yes, we're all butterflies. We are little butterflies who like to play. We flap our pretty wings and we play all day. We are little butterflies flying through the sky and we flap, flap, flap. Peppa loves being a butterfly. Everyone loves being a butterfly. Muddy festival. Peppa and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So much mud. <laughs> yes, but it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm. What's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <gasps> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! Then... Jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello, everyone. Are you ready to dance? Yes! yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. Give a big splash here and a big splash there. Give a 
Splash, Burr et Splash, Après Burr et Splash, Splash, Star, 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 C'est Morty, Hado, Splish, Splash, 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 Splash! It's a very muddy festival. Peppa <laughs> loves the muddy festival. Everyone loves the muddy festival. Please and thank you. Granny and Grandpa Pig are having breakfast at Peppa's house. Mummy, may I have some juice, please? Of course you may, Peppa. Thank you. <sighs> well, I never. It says here that children today are very rude. Would you like some juice, George? Please. Thank you. It says children have no manners and never say please and thank you. Oh, Pepper and George always say please and thank you, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that because please and thank you are very important words. In fact, they are magic. Magic? Oh, yes. Nice things happen when you say please and thank you. Please, please, please. No, George. You only say please when you ask for something. And you say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Oh, oh, it's time to go to playgroup. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! Thank you! This is Peppa's playgroup. Mr Bull is cutting the grass. The grass is looking lovely, Mr Bull. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Let me introduce you to the Being Nice Tree. What does it do? When someone is nice, I put a picture of them in the branches. Ooh! How do we be nice? There are lots of ways to be nice. <coughs> Madame Gazelle, I know some magic words that are nice. Please and thank you. Oh, yes! The magic words. Please tell us about them. If you want something, you need to say please. <coughs> and if somebody gives you something, you say thank you. Very good. Oh, this is something we can all practice with a little game. I will need two children. Susie Sheep <laughs> and Danny Dog. <coughs> now, Susie has an apple. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Susie. And Danny would like that apple. Yes, I would like that apple. OK, Danny, ask Susie for the apple. Can I have that apple? Yes. Mmm, yummy. Let's try that again. When you ask for something, Danny, you must remember to say the magic word. Abracadabra. No. What is the magic word, children? Please. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Then off you go. Can I have that apple, please? No. Susie. He's already got an apple. This is not about apples. It is about saying please. OK. Here's another apple. And now, Danny? What? The other magic word. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing Hairs, feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing <laughs> What wonderful singing, children! You will all go on the Being Nice Tree Hooray! <laughs> i finished cutting the grass, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Mr Bull. Goodbye. <laughs> Madame Gazelle! What? What is it? You forgot to say thank you. Oh, yes. How rude of me. Thank you, Mr Bull, for all your hard work. It was my pleasure. And thank you, children, for reminding me to say my please and thank yous. <laughs> Madame Gazelle likes to say please and thank you. Everyone <laughs> likes to say please and thank you. Botanical Gardens. 
Today, Pepper and George are going to the Botanical Gardens. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> Oh, dear. George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. <laughs> is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No. Our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop them melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow! wow. Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. oh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. <laughs> wow. Come on, George. Whee! Pepper loves all the botanical gardens, especially the muddy one. Mr Potato's Fruit and Vegetable Quiz. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. It is good to eat five fruit and vegetables every day. Children, 
Mr. Potato has come to find out how much we all know about fruit and vegetables. We know everything about fruit and vegetables. And I know everything about carrots. Good, because today we are going to have a fruit and vegetable quiz. Ooh. What is a quiz? A quiz is where I ask you a question, and if you know the answer, you press the buzzer. Ah! We will need two teams. Peppa, Rebecca and Pedro will be on one team. Susie, Danny and Mandy will be on the other team. <laughs> Let's begin! Our first question is, which of these is not a vegetable? Lettuce, radish, celery, or a car? <laughs> a car is not a vegetable. That is right. Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, no. That's right! Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? I hope he asks about carrots. What is a strawberry? Fruit or vegetable? A strawberry is a fruit. Yes! A watermelon. Fruit or vegetable? A watermelon is a fruit. Yes! A cabbage. Fruit or vegetable? A cabbage is a vegetable. Yes! A tomato. Fruit or vegetable? Vegetable! Fruit! A tomato is a vegetable, not a fruit. No! A tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable. Would you like to call a friend? Yes, please! Call a friend! Tell me, which of your friends might know the answer? Edmund Elephant! Then let's telephone Edmund the Elephant! Hooray! It's for you. Hello. Hello, Edmund. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Some people think a tomato is a fruit because it has seeds. But in the 19th century, the Port Authority of New York classified tomatoes as vegetables, which were subject to a 10% import tax. So I will say you are both right. Hooray! Well done, Edmund the Elephant. Are you ready for the last question of the quiz? Yes! I hope it's a question about carrots. Rebecca, you always talk about carrots. I like carrots. <laughs> Name that vegetable. Name that vegetable. I will describe a vegetable, and you will tell me what it is. I am orange, and I grow in the ground. What am I? Uh... Rebecca, what's your favorite vegetable? Uh... A carrot? That's right! A carrot! Hooray! <laughs> Both teams win the fruit and vegetable quiz. We win! Hooray! Everybody <laughs> wins with fruit and vegetables. Windmills. Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. It is playtime. Play nicely, children. Moo! Here is Mr. Bull. Morning, Madam Gazelle. Sorry about the noise. What noise? That noise! We've got a big job on this hill. Uh, thank you for your patience at this time. Madam Gazelle, what is Mr. Bull building? I don't know, Pepper. Let's watch and see if we can guess. <laughs> Mr. Bull has a big drill. He's digging a big hole. He's making a swimming pool. A swimming pool! Hooray! No, that's 
It's not a swimming pool. It's a rocket! A rocket! Hooray! But it's got petals. It's a big flower. A big flower? Oh, it's a windmill. Yes, Peppa, it is a windmill. To make electricity. Edmund is right. Edmund Elephant is a bit of a clever clogs. <laughs> the windmill uses wind to make electricity. How? Well, the wind spins the top bit around and electricity comes out the bottom. Ah! Oh. Madame Gazelle, is electricity good? Oh, yes, Susie. We need electricity to power things like lights, television, and music. <laughs> Back inside, children! <laughs> <laughs> Can we make windmills, Madam Gazelle? Yes, we will need paper and glue and some straws. Let me show you all how to make a little windmill. First, you fold a square piece of paper, like so. We make a little snip from each corner, put a blob of glue in the middle of the paper, then, we fix one side of each corner to the middle. Now, all we need is a straw and a paper fastener to fix our paper windmill. There! A windmill! Wow! Now it is your turn! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a green windmill. I'm going to make a red one. <laughs> I will make a big one. <laughs> First, we fold to the corners. Then, a grown-up can do the snipping. Next, we put a blob of glue in the middle. Then, stick it all down. Just one side of each corner, Freddy. Now, we pin it to the straw. Maybe I should do the pinning, Pepper. There. <laughs> it's a spinny windmill. Is everyone's windmill spinning? Mm. Yes! 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 yes. 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 Mm. Mine's not. Edmund has built a big windmill. I can't blow hard enough. Maybe if we all blow together. <gasps> wow. wow! It's as big as Mr Bull's windmill. Let's go and see how he's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull's windmill is finished. Wow! Are you making lots of electricity, Mr. Bull? Yes, and we're using the electricity for something very important. Mr. Bull is boiling a kettle. Tea break, lads! All the electricity from the windmill has made a pot of tea. Oh, lovely. That hits the spot. Mr. Bull and his friends like tea. What a wonderful windmill, Mr. Bull. And how useful it is. <laughs> windmills are brilliant. Pepper loves windmills. Everyone loves windmills. 